Um, now, big news for sports fans, rugby fans especially, uh, this morning with Spark and TVNZ announcing that they are going to be the ones bringing the coverage of the Rugby World Cup 2019 and some other World Rugby tournaments uh, to New Zealanders. And I guess um, the um, big interest will be on the Rugby World Cup 2019. Let's talk now to Simon Muta, who is Spark's Managing Director, and he's with me in the Auckland studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. We've been reporting that it's Spark and TVNZ but it's really Spark. Spark's won the rights here. Yes, yeah, Spark's bought the rights. We signed the deal over the weekend with World Rugby and uh, and we're looking forward to bringing to New Zealanders that incredible tournament but in a very modern, what we call a la carte video way where you can pick and choose what you want to watch, when you want to watch okay. it, all delivered through streaming services. All yeah. right, well let's unpick this because there'll be a lot of interest about how New Zealanders get to, to watch this. How, how will they? Well, the, the ideal solution will be to uh, to download an app just like a night, uh, Lightbox or Netflix or FanPass if you're a Sky customer, uh, and uh, and you know we'll produce a similar app for this uh, for this event, and uh, you'll download it onto whatever device you want to watch it on uh, your mobile phone, a laptop, uh, or your big screen TV. Um, or a streaming device, which if you haven't got a modern smart TV, allows you to put it onto your big screen. And so it's that sort of classic streaming service and we'll deliver it live and uh, or a library of back material. Okay, you know. and you don't need to be a Spark customer to do that? No, if you're a Spark customer, we'll no doubt offer some competitive reasons why it's good to be part <laughs> of our team and you know you might get a few advantages, but, yeah. but of course we'll be making the event available to all New okay. Zealanders. Just like Lightbox, our product is to Today, not just a Spark customer product. Anyone can buy Lightbooks. So let's say I'm not a Spark customer. I'm keen to watch the Rugby World Cup 2019. I I download the app and, and away I go. But obviously I've got to pay to do that. You're not going to give me the, the dollars and cents. Can you give us a ballpark of roughly what it's going to cost? Yeah, so uh, so what we, we would like to produce a range of packages. So our, our big um, our big program is around accessibility. So, you know, the trouble with a big buffet, high price buffet of services is you end up with very high price points and low affordability. What we're going to do is bring the World Cup in a range of pricing models. So you'd be able to buy to watch a single game or at the other extreme, the entire tournament. And there'll be price points that are, you know, that, that are lower than most people would expect, actually, really? and, and very moderate price points for can, those. I won't press you any more, yeah. but I'll give you another one, one more opportunity, um, <laughs> if we can put it that way. Can you give us a ballpark of what it might cost for um, to, 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 to sign up for the full menu? Yeah, I think uh, I think if you were buying a, uh, a a tournament pass, think 100 plus some, minus some in that sort of territory uh, for the tournament. And bear in mind, one single ticket to the Lions to a game last year was a one hundred and forty-nine lowest price you could buy, so yeah. that's pretty good value to okay, watch. Okay, well, that's yeah. good information. What about the, the the TV side of it with TVNZ? You've partnered with TVNZ, which I presume means that you're using their uh, commentary team. Will you rely because because it's a big thing for people, isn't it? They watch it on Sky. They know the Sky people, and that they're the ones who bring them the game. I guess by partnering with TVNZ, you can bring in their personnel, their sports people, and their. Uh, the commentary team, right? Yeah, totally. There's a yeah. great synergy here. So Spark has fantastic network delivery technology and streaming capability. TV and Z have production and talent, uh, and 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 understand the the broadcast audience. So you know they'll 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 take some games, seven games free to air live, and that uh, includes the first yeah, game and, yeah, and the, the last final, game, whether we're part final, of it or not. Whether we're part of it or not, and, and, the, and, and the other five, we don't other know. games to be announced when we're ready. Uh, and uh, and then that, but they'll be doing things like highlight packages for us, uh, lots of news coverage. So they'll work in a promotional. Sense what about what about ads? ads? This is a big deal for people. I know when you yeah. when you watch the games on delay, it's, you're yeah. up all night trying to watch the thing yeah. because there's so many ads. What, what happens? I think you can imagine advertising will be done in a way that's similar to how advertising is done in an all black game today. It right. wouldn't be any different. You certainly wouldn't be interrupting live play. Uh, to run an advert. So are the free-to-air ones, um, are they all black games necessarily? No. They're not? No. So there'll, there'll be some coverage of a range of games in that seven live matches. Yeah, yeah so the final three, yep. um, no matter who's in it. Live and free-to-air. Yep. Live and free-to-air and the first game, but those the other five match. games, they could be, could know, be Scotland could be, against Tonga or something. Could be other games, that's right. So we'll we'll decide based on you know when we're closer to the time what the what the right games to cover live are, 
Um, and, you know, this is an expensive tournament to buy and, you know, we do need to monetize it in the same way and, and you know, earn our subscription from subscriptions, yeah. cover the cost and, of buying and that, these and this tournament. that's why the All Black games aren't, aren't live on TV1, right? on TVNZ, right? right. It, completely, and that's why Sky wouldn't have run them. So what we're doing here is we've got exactly the same number of live matches that were available at the last Rugby World Cup on free to wear. Yep. There were seven last time, there are seven again, so that's our undertaking to World Rugby and we'll work over the next a uh, few months to figure out which games we'll we'll put live and free to wear, but it does include the opening match and the final. Yeah, and what about um, you know for those of us who are on a smaller budget with watching these games or don't feel that we want to pay for them? What about the uh, delayed coverage of the the All Black games? Again, we'll we we'll work through that with TVNZ once we sort of figure out what's the best way to to get a good promotional support around the free to wear offer relative to the streaming offer. So. You you know we we need we need the the big fan base to take stream. Remember, delayed coverage on in Japan is going to be getting very late at night. So a lot of these games are paid quite late in our evening because it's right because of the time zone shift. So so just to clarify that, yeah, no guarantee yeah. that the All Black games will be played um, free to wear uh, delayed. No you, guarantee at this point. You're working but we'll, that out. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How how important was this for you commercially to to win this? But I mean, it can't have been cheap. Yeah, look, it's 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 part of um, demonstrating the alignment now between you know high quality entertainment on video and uh, and connectivity services around uh, fixed and mobile broadband. And for us, it's a way we differentiate ourselves at Spark. We 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 want to play a role in the home, and entertainment is a part of that. And so, this is a great event. Uh, now that streaming has matured to really make a mark. You'll, your listeners will recall we uh, we carried e English Premier League and PGA Golf a few years ago. We were a bit early and the streaming market wasn't very mature, so we sort of down tools for a while and we've focused on our Lightbox offer, which is in the general entertainment area. That's built a big base now. Now we can really bring some of this high-value, locally relevant And what about the there. reliability of the broadband network? I mean, your worst nightmare and presumably fans' worst nightmare is too, is that hundreds of thousands of Kiwis are streaming a game and, and, the, and the broadband network isn't good enough to, to carry it and it's buffering or something yeah. and um, you know you, you, you get a poor quality viewing yeah. experience. Do you have any concerns? Look, we we um, we of course will be extremely concerned to avoid that outcome. But you know, we have a very large number of um, consumers in New Zealand streaming every night uh, in New Zealand today. So between nine and ten pm, there's uh, hundreds of thousands of homes are streaming. So for sure. But what about the have, rural, what about the rural areas that, though? Yeah, because yeah, you can yeah. get some areas in New Zealand. I'm sure we we we're watching yeah. the texts come yeah. in um, because people say, "Oh, look, my broadband yeah. isn't so good in, in parts of New Zealand." Again, is is that a worry that the, you know the local rugby club screening the game somewhere in the um, back of beyond, and um, you know the the internet just isn't up to it? Well, look, first up, there's a lot more New Zealanders can get a streaming service than own a Skybox, so that's so it, we'd we'd say this is bringing this is liberating access to the content uh, much more uh, more so than the current. Uh, model and um, well, let's put and, it this way then. Let's but in rural, yeah, yes, yeah, well, not let's... everyone can get a broadband today or has broadband. Yeah, well, that's but they the actually question, can get it. it. They can get a yeah. a satellite service or a wireless internet service yeah. provider can provide. Okay, broadband, so, he, so here's the question: yeah. Can you guarantee that anyone, anyone anywhere in New Zealand, can get this deal on the internet? No. No, no mm. but we've got 18 months to see if we can solve that problem for everyone who's... Who, how many who's can't? Can. You must have done the numbers. Uh, very, very, very um, you're down to single-digit percentages who would have any struggle with the broadband service. There are a lot more homes than that today who haven't yet taken up streaming, but, hundreds but of that's thousands, easy. Eh? Hundreds mm. of thousands. Um, well, you know, four no, million people, less than ten percent. No, tens of, I think. tens of thousands of people yeah, who couldn't yeah, get it. Yeah. And and you, it's interesting. You, you're going to work over the next eighteen months to try to. What can you do about that? Um, as I said, actually, you can buy broadband and rural from satellite providers or wireless internet providers if you're outside. We have the rural broadband connectivity business rolling now. With we we partnered with Vodafone and Two Degrees to. Uh, extend the coverage of wireless broadband in rural New Zealand, so that will pick up a number of places between 
now and then. And uh, and you know, if it comes to the you know, if, it, if we still can't solve the problem, we'll sort out a solution for the local school or the rugby club to make right. sure that they can screen it and people can see it. So we're we're confident we will make the service available to far more households than would have been able to receive the service on a skybox in 2015. All right, just finally, as we're running out of time, are you in this for the long haul? I mean, you want Spark and TVNZ to be the home of this? This is a great event for us to to really try to sort of change the positioning we're in in entertainment. And so, you you know, we, we, we do have a strong interest in uh, in other high-quality content, sports and other other things and TVNZ is a you know is a reasonably natural partner so you'd expect to see us work again right. together. Mm. Hey thanks very much for your time and for coming in here to the studio. We do appreciate that. Simon Muta there from Spark, he's the MD there, Spark and TVNZ bringing the uh, 2019 Rugby World Cup and that deal being announced early this morning. So thank you to Simon Muta for his information on that today. Be really interested in your views on this one. I know that people will be talking about it. 2101 on the text, Morning Report at radionz.co.nz on the email, NZ Morning Report on Twitter. 27 minutes now to 8. Well, coming up before 8 on Morning Report, comparisons are being drawn.